eat all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Master's vlog for the Warhammer for the Fast and Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to painting guide number 36. In this part of the painting guide we're gonna be doing a Death Guard Malignant Plague Casters. We can take a closer look at how he looks like. Today is recorded on the 21st of June 2018. So this is personally not a model that I am quite fond of. This is just a part of my commission which I'm doing for another person. Uh, but we will do our best to make him look good. So considering that this one is uh, based uh, pre... Uh, since he's already got the green colors of him from a spray can I would um, assume. We're gonna go for the little bit darker tones uh, for which I'm thinking for the arm uh, armor. So. For the, for the main armor parts, we're going to be using Rackard Flesh. Then for the metallics, we're going to be using Lead Belcher. Then, which uh, if you don't like this green color, which I don't think I'm going to use for him, we're going to be using Castellan Green. Then, for uh, certain areas where it's needed, perhaps uh, on uh, protruding bones uh, or the and then for the stick which he's holding, we're going to be using Mornfang Brown to, uh, as a base. Then for certain areas uh, where it could be protruding bone and such, and also going to dry brush it carefully above the Mornfang Brown, we're going to be using Ushapti Bone. Then for certain areas where there is tentacles, because I know there are a few of them, we're going to be using Flayed On Flesh, Flayed One Flesh. Then for certain areas where it could be needed, like for instance where you have guts and such spilling out, I'm going to be using Evil Sun Scarlet. Then for uh, leather and uh, such, we're also be going to be using Doom Ball Brown. Uh, all, I should also mention that uh, um, uh, the, the, these small banners that's uh, falling down from him, which I could imagine is uh, a part of his sorcerer code, you, uh, I will pl uh, pl uh, placing a shapely bone on top. Then we're going to be placing uh, on his main armor some Agrax Earthshade. So in a quick conclusion what we're going to do for the next step is that we're going to be using Rackard Flesh on the main armor, Lead Belcher on the metallics, Castellan Green for the gre for the shoulder pads where it's supposed to be green, Morfang Brown as a base for the stick where she's wielding, then we shaped the bone uh, on top of the Morphine Brown to dry both carefully, but also for the scriptures which you see falling down from his armor. Flayed, on, uh, flayed one flesh for the for the tentacles. It was on scarlet for uh, protruding uh, guts. Morphine Doomball Brown on his uh, leather, and then Agrax Earthshades on the main armor. and then Agrax Earthshade on top of the armor. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, so see you all in the next step, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today is the 27th of July 2018. Let's go into detail and check out what we have to do with the model. So what should be mentioned is that I did a couple of mistakes. Roughly because this is recorded in a hurry before I am going away. And uh, I, I, I simply just want this model to be finished so I can finish up this painting guide. First of all I accidentally painted up this part without <laughs> telling you guys first so I'm gonna rectify this in this video and tell you what you should be doing and also the, the stick I was supposed to be using another color in the previous part but I forgot to use that and I was thinking oh, well I only just used another color then then the face I also forgot to mention the face I also forgot to paint up so uh, I did say in the previous part which color I was going to use for it, so just go back for that and I will I will fix that up for the next step, more or less. So, to begin with the first mistake I made, that was to paint up the warp flame. 
And as a base for that I'm using Screamer Pink. Then carefully what you should do next is dry brush a little bit of Changeling Pink on top of that. Then carefully dry brush with Ceramide White on top of that and then you have Warp Flames. Then what we're gonna do to paint up the stick, for that we're gonna be using Mornfang Brown. Also, Screaming Pink is what you should be using for the robes, which he uh, has around him. Uh, and then I also think uh, for some of the cables, uh, which I haven't been sh Yeah, uh, if there's some cables on them, use Moch Green. Mornfang Brown should also be used for the pouch, as you can see here. Or you could use Doomball Brown, which I said in the previous part, so either way. And then, what I think you should do is bones that's protruding out from his ar armor. We're gonna use Rayclan Flesh Shade at the bottom of those. Then, for the armor, we're gonna be using Agrax Earth Shade. And then we're gonna finish off by applying Nun Oil all over the model. So in a quick conclusion what we're going to do for next step is scream a pink for the warp flame as a base and the robes he's wearing. Carefully dry brush with changeling pink and ceramide white on top of the warp flames. Morphine brown for the stick he's wearing. Doomball brown again for the pouches for his gun. And then also use um, the, pa the pallid shade, flesh, the pale flesh tone from the previous part for the face which I forgot to use for this one. Moot green for any cables. Rayclan Flesh Shade at the basis of the bones that's protruding from his armor. Agrax Earth Shade for, for his armor and then none oil all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step to see y'all in the last step everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today is the 22nd of November 2018. So yeah it's been quite a while since the last part uh, of this painting guide. I I think I put it on hold and then I completely forgot to do it, then I was caught up in everything else. So here I am now, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so I apologize for the lightning, uh, unfortunately I haven't set up proper lamps yet so, so we, you can see everything. Uh, but if you ask me it turned out quite, quite good actually. And the reason why I am recording this late, when it's actually quite dark, when I usually do it uh, earlier in the day, is due to cause uh, of time constraints. Uh, the guy who commissioned me to do this is actually picking these up in a couple of hours. So I decided it was quite important to do the video recording. So yeah, I think it's turned out quite alright. Yeah, but that's more or less everything for this part of the painting guide. Thank you very much for watching it. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments of things I'm doing good so I keep on doing them. And leave negative critique of things I'm doing bad so you can improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining, or simply inspiring. And I'm also on Facebook these days. There's a link down in the description. Check it out and see if you like it. I try and update more regularly there than I do it on YouTube. Not very much, but a little to make a difference. Also, before I close in this, fun fact, this is the first video that I'm shooting outside of my previous home, which I stayed at for five years. This is the first video, or well, I did some voice work previously in a couple of book reviews, but this is the first proper video where I'm actually shooting something. So yeah, but that's more or less everything I had for this part of the paint guide. Thank you very much for watching it. See you around, everybody. Death! To the false emperor. Bye.